Over the last several months, people keep asking how to capture a smaller portion of their screen to copy text, an image, or anything else they need saved. You could use the screenshot feature in many of the popular browsers, which have their limits, or you could install third-party software. If you run the Windows operating system, they have a built-in screenshot program called the Snipping Tool, which has most of the features that most people would ever need. Today, I will show you how to use the Snipping Tool and go over the key features. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. The Snipping Tool has been around for more than 10 years, and it can be used with Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. If you're still running Windows Vista, you seriously need to upgrade, since Microsoft ended support for that operating system in April of 2017. For many of you, the most convenient way to open the snipping tool is to use a keyboard shortcut. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to add a keyboard shortcut to easily open the snipping tool. Otherwise, to find the program, go to your search bar and type snipping tool, and select it to open it. Another way to quickly access the snipping tool is to pin it to your taskbar. I keep mine just to the right of File Explorer. If you select New, it will start the process for a new screenshot based on which mode you have selected. Let's first go over the four different modes. Select the drop down arrow to see which modes are available. Freeform Snip will draw a freeform shape around an object. Rectangular Snip will drag the cursor around an object to form a rectangle. Window Snip will let you select one of your windows that you want to capture, and Full Screen Snip will capture the entire screen. Using the Print Screen key on your keyboard will also take a screenshot of your entire screen. To demonstrate each mode, I've opened a couple programs. So first I'll select Mode, and we'll start at the bottom, skipping Full Screen Snip, which takes a screenshot of your entire screen. Selecting Window Snip, will let you choose which open program that you want to capture. Just highlight your cursor over that program and left click. As you can see, it captured everything in that program. And you have some tools here at the top before you save your screenshot. By selecting the pen, you can draw on your screenshot. The colors you can choose are red, blue, and black, or you can use a custom pen, which can be created by selecting Customize. Here you can change the color, thickness, and the tip. To the right of the pen is the highlighter, which comes in handy to draw attention to areas of interest. And to the right of the highlighter is the eraser. You can use the eraser to delete anything you've marked up. To the left of the pen, you have two options for emailing to a recipient. To the left of that, you can copy the screen capture to your clipboard. And if you select the floppy disk icon, you can save your screenshot to your computer for later use. Just name the file. I'll just call this one Handbrake. Select one of the file types listed, and when done, select Save. Selecting Rectangular Snip lets you capture a smaller portion of your screen. I find it useful on certain websites to capture selected parts of an article. It's also useful on certain sites that don't make it easy to save images. When selecting Rectangular Snip, just left click and drag the area, and when you're done, let go. Here you can save it and mark it up, just like we did in the previous example. And the last mode is Freeform Snip. By selecting it, your cursor changes into a scissors icon. By simply left clicking and dragging around an area, it will capture that portion of the screen. Of the four modes, I find the rectangular snip is the one I use most often. I mentioned to you earlier that I would show you how to create a keyboard shortcut to easily open the snipping tool. Here's how you do it. Find the program. I'll do a search for the snipping tool again. So just type in snipping tool. Instead of selecting it, right click and select open file location. Find snipping tool in the list. Right click and select properties. Find where it says shortcut key. To the right where it says none, left click. And on your keyboard, tap the key or combination of keys that you want for your shortcut. For me, I'll hold down Control Alt and F5 at the same time to make those my shortcut keys to open the snipping tool. When you're done, go down to the bottom and select Apply, and then OK to complete the process. You can follow the same steps I just showed you to create shortcuts to 
to any of the programs on your system. That concludes this tutorial on how to use the snipping tool. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more tutorials and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.